welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video we are going to be doing part two of our channel community body colour and it is from A Million Baby Animals by the incredible Lulu Mayo. So this was the book that was voted on and the page that won the vote was this one. Um, so if you haven't seen part one of this video and you would like to watch it or just sort of colour along with us or even just use it as a colour and chat what I will do is link part one down in the video description for you I'm not sure how to do the whole thing up here the little eye in the sky I yeah I have no idea how to do that so I will link that video in the description for you so it's easy for you to find um, but yeah, today we're going to be finishing up this page. So we just have the flowers to do. Um, I have been using my Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils on this page. And I must say they are working beautifully on this paper. And it's been an absolute pleasure going back and using some pencils that I don't use overly often. And I've quite, kind of fallen back in love with them, really. Um, they are quite temperamental on different kinds of paper. So you do have to sort of find a paper that they work well on but they are working a dream on this so what I've done because I do want to keep this palette very very limited I've pulled out the same pinks that I used here on our pig and inside the ears for our bunnies so I've got these three colors but I've also pulled in a darker pink um, as well this is um, called ruby red I just thought this would be a really nice deeper color to um, sort of act as our darkest tone for this combination and then the other few colors I have pulled out is sort of like a purple going into you know like a lilac-y pink combination I was considering yellow but I really do kind of want to keep this quite pink orientated I think um, just to keep again like I said the palette very very limited um, I've also pulled out a few markers. Um, I'm not sure if I will use them on this page. Um, I mean, I mean, I know that I will, but I'm not sure where. So I've just pulled out a few options. So I've got these two, a pink and a purple. And this was from a beautiful set of um, gel pens that my gorgeous best friend Claire got me for Christmas. Um, it says Batoon Glitter Pen. Um, so I've pulled out the pink and purple in those. I've pulled out the purple um, Papermate Flare Metallic. Um, this was sent to me by my gorgeous friend Rebecca. And then I've also pulled out two uh, paint markers. I've got the Artistro Paint Marker Pen. Um, this is the glitter set. This was sent by my gorgeous friend Dana. Um, and then I have a super golden marker that I was sent for review by Lightwish. So I've got some pink and purple options here going on and also a rose gold, which I thought would be really nice to sort of go with the tones here of the pig and inside the ears and stuff. I just thought that rose gold might be a really nice kind of accent colour um, to put in here somewhere. So yeah, I'm just going to zoom you guys in. Let's just move that camera down a bit make sure we're straightened up properly there we go that's pretty good isn't it um i do apologize for the lighting it's it's a little bit gloomy and overcast outside so i have got my overhead light on so i hope that it's okay and it doesn't sort of cause any you know too many shadows and whatnot but um yeah i'm just gonna sort of jump in really and get started um so how are you all what have you all been what have you all been up to since since the last uh, the last video i uh because this is just sort of like a community body color i don't do this as a color along where i give you like color names and and what not um that's just not what i want the group body colors to be but you can kind of you know get a, an idea for the colours but I mean I can always I guess I could always tell you couldn't I for those of you that want to know should I do that anyway oh great start to the video okay <laughs> okay so the first pencil like I said these are in the Caran d'Ache um Pablo's is Ruby Red which is number 280 
Then the next one is Salmon, which is 051. We have Salmon Pink, which is 071. And then we have Granite Rose, which is 493. Beautiful, beautiful colour. So I'm just going in with the darkest colour at the moment. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to keep this palette very, very limited. Um, I can see some little stars on here kind of dotted around. I'm tempted to get my Nouveau um, confetti stars out because they are blue. So that might look quite nice, actually. We'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll see whether we do that or, or what. I could always dot a few around on the page as well. So I'm recording this on um, Thursday the 29th of February. So I've cut it really fine to try and get this video done. Um, I probably won't do all the flowers on camera with you. I'm just kind of giving you an idea as to what I'm doing, really. Um, you're more than welcome to use this as a colouring chat if you want to. Entirely up to you. The video is just there for you to use or watch or listen to. Whatever works for you. I've been really enjoying working on this page, actually. Um... I've just finished recording part two of my completed pages for February. I say part two, just like the second segment. It'll all be in one video. Um, but yeah, of, you know, this page and the Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen. Yeah, they're not going to quite make it. So you'll see this as a completed page in my March completed pages video now. Um, even if I do finish this one today, I'll just, you know, put a note. But just, you know, put it in my, um, in my March completed pages. The same with the Wildflower Folk. I don't have hardly anything left to do on it now. It's just, you know, finishing touches really. So that one will be done today. And that has been such a pleasure um, to work on. Really has. So um, I'm I'm really looking forward to starting another page in there. Actually, but what have you guys all been working on? Have you been colouring, cross stitching, crafting, diamond painting, whatever it is that you enjoy doing in your you know, in your quiet time, your you time, what have you all been up to? The kids have got um, World Book Day at school next week. So they're both really excited. Um, they want to go as Harry and Hermione <laughs> from the Harry Potter books and movies. So they have now both got their outfits because I, I ordered Emmys first because she definitely knew she wanted to be Hermione. Caden wasn't quite sure, but yeah, he, he decided he wants to be Harry. So they've now both got their their costumes, their wands. We've, we've got it all. Um, but we're going to be um, like popping out Saturday for a couple of hours. Um, so that'll be really nice. So what I'm going to do is pick up, see if I can find like a brown eyeliner or lip pencil or something. Um, or sort of like a tan or like pinky beige kind of colour um, and use that to draw the little uh, like lightning strike on um, on Caden's head, bless him, for, for next week. I think he's going to look amazing. He's going to look great. So, yeah, the kids are really, really looking forward to it. Um, and then, you know, they've got a little dress up outfit then for if they go to like a fancy dress party or anything else. They've got their Harry Potter costumes then. 
So yeah, they're really excited. Um, next Saturday, we've been invited to the aquarium because we're currently doing a bereavement support group. Um, and we had that last night, which was, ooh, last night was a really emotional session, actually. And I, I ended up just sort of breaking down in tears and having a really good sob. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a really, really emotional session last night. And then next week is the, um, it's kind of like a, like a celebration really of like completing the course um but they're also giving out like certificates and awards and stuff so yeah that would be lovely and then so that's on the wednesday evening and then on the saturday they've arranged um for the the families in this bereavement support group to um go to our local aquarium and do a workshop there in their sensory room on the saturday morning and then we can go around the aquarium after just at our leisure so yeah we're just going to make a day of it it will be really really lovely so we've got that coming up so lots of things on next week i've got a um a telephone appointment i can't remember the day oh, one two three so it's on Thursday on the 7th. I've got a telephone appointment. Um, because I had an MRI scan on my back a few weeks ago. Um, it was requested by my rheumatology consultant because of how much I'm struggling with my back. And he said to me during my appointment, my face-to-face -face appointment, he said, look, I think it's probably just down to like your posture because of how much pain you're in with your back where you're kind of hunching over and whatnot and you know using your crutches now every time you go out um you know i think it's it's just that um but you know want to have an mri scan just to make sure um and then they want to do a scan on my hands as well because of struggling with my hands but i'm, I'm still waiting for that appointment but anyway i had the, C the not ct scan i had the um, mri scan on my back um and yeah i had a phone call from the hospital to say that my rheumatology consultant is concerned with something that has been spotted on the mri he's he's really quite worried so um they wanted to do a telephone appointment with me as soon as they had one available so so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried, <laughs> not going to lie. So that's been, um, that's been playing really heavy on my mind. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I just have to wait and then find out next week. But for them to say that he was worried and I'm like, oh my God, well, you know, what's going on? So I've been feeling quite restless, really, quite unsettled. Um, and just other stuff sort of going on in my personal life as well. It's just, yeah, not, not really feeling, not feeling my best at the minute, to be honest. But I really wanted to come on today and get, you know, get this filmed and done because I've, I've been looking forward to uh coming back to this page with you all actually but what i'll probably do is just color a few flowers show you what i'm gonna do you know add some of the shine in a few places and then i will just finish this off camera and you will see it in my march completed pages i'm so sorry that i arranged this buddy color for february and i haven't quite got my page done this month I've just had so much going on with like appointments and meetings and phone calls. It's just, uh, yes, it's, it's been a lot. It has been a lot. 
but yeah this this saturday um i'm gonna take the kids out for breakfast we're gonna go, just go to like a costa near us um and we, yeah we're just gonna go to like this, this little sort of like um like a little retail park really um so we're gonna nip in the costa that will be our first stop so we'll do that and have breakfast and then from there we will go into pets at home because we like having a look at the bunnies and guinea pigs and um hamsters and rats and all that good stuff we, we absolutely love doing that um and then we'll probably go to dunelm and hobbycraft and then smith's we like uh we like having a look in the toy shop so yeah we'll probably uh we'll probably be doing that just wondering whether to add some of this pink gel paint here no i don't think i'm gonna add that just yet that might be a bit too a bit too dark um I'm sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that Saturday and just, you know, spend a couple of hours out. Um, so we're going to do that and then I need to nip into town because Caden needs new trainers for school because I don't know if there was a little split in the leather or whatnot on his, but he's decided to pick it. Uh, he's actually, like, kind of peeled, like, the leather kind of off off his trainers and I'm like oh my god so yeah when I get him some new trainers for school I desperately need some new trainers or boots or something so we'll have a look in town um and I want to get um some thank you cards for the people at the bereavement group um So, yeah, I want to, I want to do that so that, I've, you know, we've got something to give them next week to say, like, thank you so much for everything that they've done for us. It's been um, really, really wonderful. <clears throat> got Caden home poorly at the moment so he isn't well bless him um, he's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning so I hope we get him checked over and get him feeling better don't like how I've done that petal there but I'll see if I can fix it later but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold out much hope really <laughs> so I just want to deepen the red right down in here by just emphasizes the depth a little bit then as well doesn't it okay <clears throat> okay and then I think what I'm going to do is go in with the pink glitter pen and th just these bits here around the middle I'm going to use the pink on that wow okay so this is a lot louder than the colours that I've used but Actually, I think it'll be quite fun to just add that pop of, like, vibrant colour. But if I'd thought about it, I've got some really beautiful handmade watercolours. And there's a colour in there by um, the beautiful Kaylee over at Archie's Paints on Etsy. I will link her shop in the description for you. It's a really, really beautiful colour. Um, let me show you. I just that palette I should have thought about it really 
this one, like these two here, Castor and Pegasus, they would look beautiful on this page. And this one here, Sketch, that's by Renaissance Colours. I will link her Etsy shop as well. Vintage Pink, that's by The Art Spirits. The beautiful Rebecca, again, I will link her Etsy shop. Um, do you know what, I think I'm going to keep this palette out because I do think I'm going to be using that at some point. Okay. Right, so with this flower, I'm going to do it exactly the same as this one. So what I'm going to do now is move on to this flower here. And I'm going to use the other colour combination. So with this one, if I just put them around the right way, it might be easier to show you all at once then. Obviously, you don't have to use these colours. Um, I'm just showing you what I'm using because there might be some of you that maybe want to replicate the colours but again it's a buddy colour you colour it however you want so I'm using lilac which is 110 mauve which is um, 111 and light purple which is 091 and again these are the Caran Pablo pencils so I think what I want to do on this one let's see I think I want to kind of do it darker on the tips of the petals and have it lighter here. So I'm not going to use too much of the um, of the lilac. I'm just going to put it sort of on the on the tips of the petals and sort of where there would be a shadow, so like here. I'm going to bring that down a bit. So let's just... darkest colour here because this petal is under this leaf so I do want this shadow a bit darker there and then I'm just going to softly buff the edges using little circles just to gently diffuse out that colour okay and then I'm going to go in with the mauve and just again really light circles because I want to try and keep this center with like maybe still have like some white showing through which I think that would be really nice Bring it up a bit over here as well. Just want to make sure I really get those deep, those deep shadows in. Back in with the mauve, light circles, and then when I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with the light purple. And again, I don't want too much really of this colour, but I just want to overlap it onto the mauve that we've already put down and the lilac, but just bring it lightly in into the centre of that petal really, really lightly, but do it so it kind of disappears into nothing and then I'm still left with this sort of section of white here um yeah I really like that so I'm going to do that on these other petals so let's just I 
Okay, I'm really sorry I keep going quiet. <laughs> gonna get all the deeper shadows in wherever needed and then diffuse them out so this is the uh, the lilac that I'm using at the moment really beautiful color this is kind of like a warm purple which I love absolutely love warm purples And just diffuse that out a little bit more, I think. Okay, that's better. And then I'm just going to come up this side a little bit. And again, just really lightly, these little circles. And I'm just buffing that colour out. I'm going to go in with the mauve and again just use light circles I'm overlapping it with the lilac as well just to give us a bit more of a seamless blend And then we're going to go in with the lighter purple. Again, I'm just going to run that really lightly over those colours that we've got down. So what have you guys all got planned for, for this weekend? I told you my plans, but uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys are going to be up to. We've got Mother's Day next Sunday um, so for those of you who do celebrate I hope you have a wonderful day and I've missed out this purple here look, so let's go in with the mauve there there we go and then the light purple I think that's looking really pretty. What do you guys think? Should I hold that up to the camera a little bit? And you can see the sparkle here on the, the centre there of that one. Yeah, that's looking really, really pretty. So I'm literally just going to sort of go around the page and sort of just map out, you know, where I want the, the colours of the flowers, really. Um, I know that these are going to be pink down here these are going to be pink so these will be purple these will be done I know these small ones will be done they might be one of the shiny pens actually so yeah we'll we'll map it out and and get it get it done um so if I just sort of do that in a minute I'll just finish these two petals and then I'll show you where I'm going to put, you know, where I plan to put the, the colours. So that if you are colouring along and using the same or similar colour palette, you can just kind of get a rough idea 
where I'm, you know, where I'm kind of planning on putting the colours. Okay, so I want a dark shadow here. Try and really get that shadow in nicely. That's better. In with the mauve. Blend that in. These pencils really are working so lovely on this uh, on this paper in Lulu's book. So I'm definitely going to make a note. Poplar pencils work great in them. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could layer these for days. Um, not not as much as polychromos, absolutely not. But you know, they they layer pretty nice. Not the best, not the best at all. But you know, still really lovely. Okay, and then the light purple. So let's introduce that. So this is just warming up that purple even more that we've already put down. Put a bit more here, I think. one can you see how that just blends like effortlessly really really pretty yeah I think that's gorgeous okay and then what I am going to do is I'm going to go around the middle bit here these little bits with the um the dark purple sort of gel pen the same as the pink one that i used up here these are the gel pens that the gorgeous claire sent to me they are beautiful Okay, and then I think for the outside of the petals that are sort of folded over for here, I'm going to use the Paper Mate Flare Metallic and just put this on the tips of those petals. Like that. So let's have a look. That's really, really pretty. Yeah, really, really pretty. So I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So what I'm going to quickly do with you is just show you. Uh, it would help if I had the other purple pencil. What did I do with that? Oh, it's there. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is just go around the page and show you which flowers I'm going to colour, which colour. Um, and then, um, yeah, we'll probably uh, leave it as that. And then you will see this page when it is completely done in my March completed pages. But what I will do, if you follow me on Instagram, I will upload the page over there so you will see it finished. So this one here, I want pink. 
So I'm going to leave that one. This one. This flower. This one will be purple, as will this one. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of flower, of flower, oh my goodness, a tiny little bit of colour on one of the flower petals, so I know. Okay, so they're going to be purple. This one, this will be a pink flower. So this one will be pink. This one, mm, let me think about that one. I think this should be, oh, hang on, pink. Okay. I thought that was going to be purple but do you know what there's going to be a change of plan because these two are going to be purple so I'm going to do this one here pink oh but saying that it would match the purple for this wouldn't it purple purple those two are purple pink pink right uh. right no we're sticking to the original plan I am so sorry okay so <laughs> This is uh, symmetrical, obviously apart from, you know, this bit here. Um, so this one is purple, pink. This one here on both sides will be pink. These two will be purple. This will also be purple to match this flower here. So let's put a bit of uh, purple around just a bit of one of our petals, just, just so we know. So I'm just indicating the colours there. So that one will be purple. This one here, this will be pink. This will be done with a gel pen, as will these small ones. And then I think what I'm going to do is do these two pink and maybe the purple in the middle. How about that? That might look quite nice. And I'm going to do on these what I'm doing on this flower here. So do the dark colour around the edge of the petals and fade it out. So we'll have this one here as pink. As such, this one here will be pink also. So let's just do this. And this little guy here in the middle, this one can be purple. that one will be purple so let's just map out the colors over here so this dude here this will be pink this one will be purple Okay, 
And then we've said that this one here, this is going to be pink. Um, this one is going to be purple. I think on things like this, when you've got kind of like a, a matching pattern, a symmetrical, obviously, on this one with the exception of the bottom bit and the centre, um, I think it's it's nice actually to, to map out your colours, especially if it's a busy page. It might help if you just go through first and just place a little bit of colour on the sections you know what colour you want to be what. Um, and then work from there. I think it helps give you a bit more of a visual. Um, so, yeah. That one. This one will be purple. So let's just do the side here of this petal. Just deepening up that shadow there. And again, just softening the line for when I come back to it. And this one will be pink. So what I'm going to do, let's see, I think I'm going to do these little flowers here, these two, I'm going to go in with the Pentel, um, sorry, the Papermate Flare Metallic, I'm just using the, the purple colour. I'm just going to do these two little flowers with that. So, there you go. There's those two. We've got two here as well. I'm going to do them purple as well. These pens are so pretty, really, really lovely. Okay, and we've got these up here. Do you know, I think I'm gonna go in with a bright pink metallic. I'm gonna use the super golden marker. Let's just, pigment going so yeah I'm gonna be using this beautiful pinky fuchsia color here so let's put that on these really pretty can't be a good old bit of shine and sparkle on your pages can you So there's one. Can you see that? Come over here and do the other one. Really sorry if my hand is in the way. Make 
this page is going to be so pretty and cute when it's all done. Really enjoyed this one. So there's that one. I kind of want to pull this pink down now onto these two. I don't know if that rose colour might just rose gold colour might be a bit um I don't know. Sorry guys, I'm being really quiet. I'm just concentrating while I am um, get these petals done. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. So we've got like two, two. And they're the shiny ones. Got quite a lot of shiny stuff on there already, actually. Um, but yeah, this is sort of how I'm gonna be completing the page. So you can see here where I've mapped out my colours. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the next time you see this will probably be on Instagram and then my March completed pages. So let me just zoom out a smidge. You can see the mess over here that's that's going on. Pencils there for another page. Yeah, all systems go. Um, but there you go, my loves. That is our channel community buddy colour for the month of February. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I really, really do appreciate it. Take care, stay safe, my loves, and I will see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.